Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Yeah, How I'm glad you? to see you here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just just waiting for you. Um, just waiting for you. I'm I'm um I'm gonna go ahead and hold on. I don't know why my camera is not turning on. Turning on uh, right now. So how was how was your weekend? I was uh, um, it's, uh, um, we, we have to take a to take a, a, a rest is very nice and the, the weekend. <laughs> okay, there we go. In my home. My uh -huh. So you mean you had to you had to rest? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. All right, that sounds good. All right. Beautiful. What about you, teacher? Oh, it was good, man. It was pretty good. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sir. I, 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 I'm probably gonna need a haircut, but it was good, man. It was, it was really yes. good. I think. Let me, <laughs> let me send a message to everybody else right now. So, okay. what else? What else do you do? So, what else? Hi there. Do you do? Good evening. Hey, hello, 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 Elena and Victor. How can are you? Can you hear Elena? me well? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. My God, it's Could really hot. It's really hot today. Yeah, that's true. My, like it's, I don't know what's up with this uh, global warming, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about Absolutely. you, Victor? Nice to see you. Hi. Good evening. Nice to see you too. So, how's the weather down there? <laughs> Here is a little bit cooler, colder than yesterday. Today is oh, a little bit wind here. <laughs> it's a little, yeah, actually, you know what? It was raining here. It was raining here yesterday. Ah, like yes, I, have, yesterday I have the fan. Yeah. I have the fan on, on the on, on, on my ear, you know, but it's so hot. <laughs> So I'm sorry if uh, you see me sweating there, but yeah. So what do you do on your weekend? I I, I use the weekend to write, get dressed, you know. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, here in my house. <laughs> you use you use the weekend to get rest? Oh, to get rest. Yes. yes. Okay. I thought I thought you said uh, to get dressed. Uh, no. <laughs> all right sounds good sounds good all right guys so uh so let's um let's pull up section four guys okay so we have we have three days counting today guys because on thursday we pretty much have the um we pretty much have the um the final exam guys okay all right Arturo, welcome, Arturo. All right. Um, so, yeah, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. So, we actually talked about cross-cultural experiences, okay? So, do you remember Do you remember the video about Brazil and uh, visiting other countries? So, so. Okay. All right. All right. Ricardo, I, I don't know if you got to tell me, if you got the chance to tell me about uh, the video all right but what 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 did you learn about the video okay uh, in, in in many countries there are different uh, cultures and customers and there are uh, different food and different activities uh, for the um, and the traditional traditional custom in, in each country is different uh, where are, are, are i am there are that I go in the in, in different is many um, interesting. Okay. All I, right. I, I, I went when, when I went I went to Malaysia for one for two weeks. Okay, in you Ma mean Malaysia. 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 In Malaysia. In Malaysia is a, a three different cultures. Three different and in the same the India I, I India India I don't know. <laughs> India, China um, uh, and Malaysia is a Muslim, and China is Buddhist, and the uh, India is a uh, uh, the other other religion. There are three different culture, three different food, three different. This is a uh, a many interesting. Okay, all right. Hey, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, 
Okay, now a couple of things that that I would like you to to study. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. let's let's study simple past. We still we still have pronunciation mistakes. So today, guys. Okay, today um we're gonna we're gonna do a small practice, guys. I need more people. I don't know what's up with these guys. I think that you guys finished. Guys, did you finish the platform? Yes. Did you finish the final exam? Yes, I finished. <laughs> Okay, uh, Elena, Victor, uh, Arturo, Brenda, Ronnie. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, right. That's no, okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right. All right. Beautiful, guys. Okay, guys. So, uh, so you're gonna tell me, guys. You're gonna tell me, and I'm gonna evaluate. Okay, the five papers that I'm gonna evaluate are gonna be grammar, pronunciation, intonation, fluency vocabulary okay all right so that's what we're gonna do today guys all right but before that let's uh let's review what we saw before okay all right so regarding cross-cultural experiences guys okay we discussed that we discussed uh, the many differences that we have um abroad right so let's see uh, ricardo you told me one of the things that you learned okay uh victor avalos uh Tell me one of the things that you learned from that. Uh huh. I don't mean in the in the class last week, and I don't. Oh, you were not. Oh my god. No, no, I don't hear that. All right, all right. Let's see. Um, Elena, I know that you were there. Okay. All right, so let's go, Elena. Do you remember? Or do you want me to play it again, guys? Uh, what what top? Topic. The, okay. Which one? Do you remember, guys? Do you remember the video that we saw um, that we saw last last week? Let's play again, please. The, the world tour. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna play one more time, guys, because I'm gonna evaluate you on that. Okay. Can you hear the audio? Yes. Okay. Very yes, good. Teacher. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila. And I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four. And I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek and they shake hands. So I went to kiss like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that, it was strange. <laughs> this is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? 
Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman and she was making me lunch one day and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So that's the end. That's the end of the video. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna get anything that you got from the videos we did on Friday, guys. All right. Uh, you're gonna be evaluated right now. Okay. So you're gonna have to talk for just 30 seconds, right? So now the point is gonna be, guys, no ground pronunciation, intonation, uh, fluency, or vocabulary mistakes. Okay. You have to talk for 30 seconds with no mistakes. I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna give you five minutes to practice. All right, and then um, what I want you to do, guys, during those five minutes, just try to repeat over and over again what you are gonna say uh, for those thirty seconds. Right? All right, got it. Good job, guys. Meanwhile, I'll uh, get in contact with the other guys. Okay, let's go. Hello, Arturo. All right, guys, so let me hear you. We got Jessica. There we go. All right, so talk about it. Um, 30 seconds, no mistakes. If you notice any mistake, let's say, uh, let's say after that you notice a mistake from Brenda, then you uh, let her know about the mistake so she can do it right the next time, okay? All right. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that, man? <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Step right down. I start. Arturo. Go for it. Yes. Arturo? Oh, I think your audio is not working, man. Sorry, sorry. sorry. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. Um... The video uh, talking about the difference between culture. And it starts with uh, Brazil, when, where, where they greeting each other with two kisses and a hug. It's very enthusiastic form or very enthusiastic way to, to greet. And then uh, talk about Peru, that is uh, similar to El Salvador, it's, all, it's almost the same. And the last one, ah. the last one, uh, <laughs> I didn't pay attention. 
Come on. All right. Now, do me a favor. If you haven't watched it, go, like, watch it right now because I'm going to need you to, to grab your ideas from there, okay? Or okay. If, if you didn't pay attention, what were you doing? But, but, but if you didn't pay attention, do me a favor. Uh, talk about one of your experiences if you, have, if you have traveled abroad. Have you ever traveled to another country? Teacher, bad connection. Yes, I have. Yeah, you can hear me well, right, Arturo? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think Brenda is, Brenda is lagging. Yeah, there you go, Brenda. I'm sorry, you were lagging for a moment, Brenda. All right, so have you ever, you said that you've traveled to another country before, right? Yes, I have. Okay, so have you noticed any, anything different from, from El Salvador in the other country? And yes, I noticed. Okay, so that's what I want you to talk about then, okay? In your case, okay? Brenda, you can talk about the experience from the videos. The buses are full. Hello, guys. Yes, hello, teachers. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Thank you. All right. So, did you did you explain her what we're doing right now? Yes. All right. Sounds good. Let me let me let me hear you. Let me hear you. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, Jessica. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, yeah. For example, in, in Mexico, the food, wa, the food are different to than the United States, but the the nat, nativo, no, how do you say? The Mexican people uh, mm -hmm. prepare their food. Uh, for example, beans or um, I don't remember all the all the food, but it's similar to El Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I heard that the 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 man said that he he was mar he is married with an uh, an American with an American girl that and he she give her give him. Uh -huh. a, a sandwich for lunch and then when we when he ended he said what else what what else we're going to eat is because in mexico they used to get a a big meal at the middle of the day okay yes. they used to get a big meals okay okay all and right rice and, uh, and rice too <laughs> okay yeah rice all right, so um, I'm I'm typing in your your um your your feedback, guys. Okay, um, and what you see inside the uh, the parentheses, that is basically the topic that you can study to improve. Okay, all right. Now uh, it says that in the United States, uh, that is comparisons. So it's using then. Okay, all right. So. Aside from pronunciation, guys, which is something that you develop later on, um, just remember when you're talking about, when you're comparing things, guys, things, I'm sorry, when you're comparing things, um, you will use uh, the compare then, okay? So, for example, I think that the United States, the, the United States is better than El Salvador. That would be a, com a comparison, right? But you use mm -hmm. then, all right? So that, that was the only thing. And uh, remember that if it is a country in plural, then what happens when you have a country in plural? Do you add okay. something? Do you add Mexico. that? Mexico. Okay. Mexico. Exactly. So you have to you have to add the, the, the article that. All right. Pronunciation, guys. There. There. Uh, don't say there. Uh, there. Okay. There. there. Just there. say there. Repeat. There. 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 All right. There. Uh, if you want, guys, um, I, if you send me a message on WhatsApp, I will give you a website where you can check the pronunciation. Um, so you can, you can actually, you should learn, guys, something that uh, the, the, you know, the, uh, the alphabet. No, the, I'm sorry, not the alphabet. The vowel sounds and the consonant sounds in English. Okay. The faster, the earlier you learn that, the the the, the sooner you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna learn how to pronounce words in English. 
because it's not only five vowels, okay, like in Spanish, we have more sounds in English. We have, we have 20 vowels and 24 consonant sounds. All right, so it's a lot, okay. all right? Yes. So, but, but good job, guys, good job. Aside from that, everything good. We're gonna go back now, guys, so we're good. All right. Yes. All right, guys, so who wants to go first? All right, let's see. The first person, guys, so my first participant is going to be the first person to show me a pen, okay? So the first person to show me a pen, guys, can pick somebody else. Let's see. There you go, Elena. <laughs> hey, see, uh, Elena's taking notes. Elena, pick someone. Oh, yeah. Or if you want to go, uh, okay. if you want to go, you want to go, right? Let's go. No, me. All right, so pick someone. You're That's the it. <laughs> Uh -huh. Me, me, me. Oh, you want to go? Okay, let's go, Elena, okay? All right, so just 30 seconds. Uh, do me a favor. Um, let's see. Arturo, do me a favor. Can you set 30 seconds on your cell phone? All right, very good. You you have to say stop once she one, once she finishes, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, not 30. once she finishes, but one, one 30 seconds finish. Okay? 20 seconds. All right. No, 30, 30, 30, 30. Ah, 30, 30. All right. All right, everybody else, you can mute yourselves and you can practice, guys. Okay, so Elena, three, two, one, go. Tell me. Okay, I'm going to talk about Camila. Mm -hmm. She was born in Sweden. Uh, she said that she was a, one year in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro. And she said that people in Brazil kiss and check hands that it's different that in Sweden because uh, she felt that people uh, was in, invading her space. Uh -huh. So that's different. Um, the other guy was in, in Peru. Good job. Uh, good job, plus for Elena, guys. Good job, Elena. Good job, good job. Uh, All right, sounds good. That's okay, that's okay, okay. Now guys, uh, pronunciation, guys, there's a website, okay, not from, not from, from, from uh, Inglés Corporativo, but I can recommend you going there. It's just a general website, right? Um, <clears throat> there are actually many websites where you can change, where you can change, check the, how to pronounce a certain word, okay? All right, so now, pronunciation for this, guys. This is the rapper sound, okay? And, uh, and remember, you pronounce it, I think, Elena, you were, you're, you were kind of nervous. Uh, so that's why you, you, you pronounced it like this. But first off, very good job because I think that you were very fluent and you portrayed the idea how you wanted to portray it, okay? So very good job there. Now, things that we need to work on, uh, pronunciation. This is, repeat guys, born. 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 All right. Now, the, I, I don't know about the T there, but it's born, okay? So very good. I think that uh, it was just, you know, not, not, not focusing a little bit um the pronunciation for the z guys okay everybody go z, like like a b guys z. Z. like z, right like like a b right brazil repeat brazil brazil, brazil. brazil. all right brazil all right beautiful brazil. now this one guys uh you pronounced it as shag uh it is the a guys is very pronounced here okay this is a diff uh, a diff tongue okay uh, basically, the, the sound is a combination of two vowels, okay? So this would be shake. Repeat, shake. 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 All right? This is called a diphthong, okay? If you want to research about it, okay? It's a combination of two sounds, guys, okay? Beautiful. Aside from that, uh, vocabulary. Now, this would be vocabulary, but I think it's more pronou uh, pronunciation mistake because... This is, there's a difference, guys, between, between fell and felt. So what is the difference between fell and felt? The conjugation is in past. I don't say con fell. conjugation, right? Conjugation. Conju All right. Conjugate. No, both are in the past, guys. Both are in the past, okay? Thank you, sir. Go, go for it. Uh, fell is the past of fall, and exactly. felt is the past. Feel. Very good. A plus for Allison, guys. Good job, Allison. Exactly, guys. So we got fall. The past of fall is fell. And the past of feel is felt. Okay. Felt. So it's a very common mistake. 
for Spanish speakers to get to confuse this word, okay? But other than that, beautiful job, Elena. Beautiful, beautiful job, okay? So the score, all right? So we got uh, grammar was grammar was really, really good. So I'll, I'll you get two points here. There were three mistakes here, so 0 0.5. Intonation was good. Fluency uh, was really, really good. Vocabulary, there was only one mistake, so 0 1.5. So that's 6, 7, 8 out of 10. Good job, all right? Good, 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 good job, Elena. All right, Elena, uh, pick someone, uh, pick someone, pick someone who's wearing glasses. Arturo. Arturo. <laughs> he was about to take him out, to take him off, right? Arturo. All right, you got three, uh, 30 seconds. Um, Arturo Gimaldi. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Arturo, get your, uh, check your own time, okay? So three, yeah. two, one, but, go. Wait, wait. But I'm talking about uh, my experience in another travel, right? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Uh-huh. When I'm talking about uh, in Mexico, uh, I've been there uh, three years ago. And the difference that I noticed is the food. And they put a lot of... Uh, Spicy, it's like the food is very spi spicy, and there are a different kind of, of food. Yeah. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Applause for Arturo, guys. Good job. Okay, all right, good job. Hey, applause, guys. Come on, all right, now good job, Arturo. Good, good, good job. Uh, very fluent, very fluent. Uh, if you notice, you did not make any other pronunciation. I mean, any other mistake here, so fluency is good, vocabulary is good, all right? It was 30 seconds, but good enough, okay? But we did have two mistakes over here, so this is going to be uh, 1.0, okay? So the score is going to be 9. But basically, guys, okay, um, the pronunciation, guys, of this, it's not notice, okay? It is O. Oh. Everybody say O. Oh. O. Oh. O. Oh. Okay? All right. So the vowel sound that we got here, guys, it's, it's one of those other diphthongs, okay? This is like a regular O combined, O. Noticed, repeat, noticed. Notice, notice. No, no, no. No. Notice. It is. Notice. Notice, okay. Notice. So I noticed, all right, beautiful job. All right, so this is the sound of O, okay. Uh, then this one is very common, guys. Very common mistake. Okay, Arturo, I'm pretty sure that you guys can explain to me what's wrong here. Yes. Okay, uh, how do you spicy. pronounce this? Very good. He said uh, spicy, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Repeat, guys. Spicy. Spicy. Just spicy. 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 All right, spicy. beautiful job. So the sound of S, other than that, beautiful job, Arturo. Good job, Arturo. Plus for Arturo, guys. Good job, brother. All right, so, <laughs> all right, Arturo, pick the last person, and then we continue with the platform. The last person, um... Well, who wants Ricardo. to go, guys? Who wants to go? Ricardo. Ricardo, you good? You want to go? Okay, okay. Uh, I am talking about uh, the, my travel. My first travel uh, is uh, far, uh, so far. Uh, I, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you started. All right, three, <laughs> two. <laughs> Arturo, you ready, Arturo? Wait. All right, all right. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Three, ready. two, one, go. Okay, I'm talking about the, my first travel is uh, so far. I went to Japan uh, 25 years ago. Um, I stayed for uh, three months in there. And so I'm, um, it's a, a different cultures about uh, our country. It's, uh, there are many uh, different foods. Uh, so it's uh, like a, a many, many foods like a, a fish. And so it's a, uh, and the custom is a very different too. Okay, all right, very good. A plus for Ricardo, guys. Good job, Ricardo. Good job, man. Good job. All right, Ricardo. Uh, you did not stop talking, all right? Great attitude. Good job there. Now, thanks. We do need to correct a couple of things here. Okay. So basically, um, you, uh, we we still need a little bit more vocabulary when when we're talking. Okay? Yes. That is now when when we start talking, guys. Um, how can we start a conversation? So how would you start a conversation, guys? 
Yes. Okay. Can, can somebody give me a phrase on how to start a conversation? Yes, it's very difficult. I am going, I am going to talk about. <laughs> All right. Instead of doing this, guys, you can say, first off, do you remember the uh, the sequence adverbs? Do you remember the, the frequency adverbs? I'm sorry. All right, so you can say first of all, okay, or first, first off, or first of all. Uh, first what of else? All. What else, guys? How can you open a conversation? How can? All right, in my opinion. All right. Or last time, um, last time I traveled, etc. Okay. So this is how you start that. Okay. So uh, because of this, Ricardo, okay, uh, this is gonna be a 1.5 here. Fluency was okay. Do you know what buffering, guys? Buffering is when you do this, uh, and uh, uh, got it. Oh, when yeah, you do yes, that, it's it. buffering, okay? So I'm gonna okay. give you 1.5 here. Then we got intonation, and now intonation is like how you know the intonation works, right? I'm not, I'm not actually qualifying the intonation on like accent wise, right? Um, but I'm gonna give you two here <clears throat> now. This is uh this this is actually two mistakes combined, okay? You said I stay. First of all, guys, pronunciation. How do you say how do you pronounce this? Stay. State. Repeat guys, I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. It's like saying ice and then stayed. Repeat, I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. All right, I stayed, right? So I stayed, I stayed okay? So that's how you pronounce it. I stayed. All right, so that's where you have the grammar mistake here because this should be in the past. All right, other than that, beautiful job. So we got one pronunciation mistake here. All right, and we got one over here. So you got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this an eight? Hold on. Two, four, eight, five, six, eight. six, seven. Yeah, it's an eight. Eight, six, yes. <laughs> Good job, all right. Good job, yeah. Professor Ricardo, guys. Good, 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 good <laughs> job. All right. So, everybody, let's go back to the platform. Okay. Uh, Jose Armando, nice to see you again. Alison, Monica Polanco, nice to see you too. All right, guys. So, we're going to go back to the platform now, guys. All right. So, do me a favor. Help me read the lesson objective for today. Uh, let's see. Brenda. In this class, you will learn how to use noun phrases containing relative clause. Okay, very good. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. Okay, beautiful job. All right, guys. So first off, guys, do you remember what a relative clause is? Do you remember what clauses are? Who can, who can tell me, guys? Me, teacher. All right, whoever doesn't tell me is going to sing a Cheyenne song tonight. <laughs> nah, just kidding, guys. All right, Jessica, so tell me, Jessica, <laughs> what do you think, uh, what do you think, or what do you remember relative clauses are? Relative clause, like when I use that? No? Uh-huh. Actually, that's a, no, that, that's, that's not a relative clause. That's an article. All right. All right, um, no, no idea. No. All right, let's do, let's do something, guys. Let's check, um, do my favorite, check, check the, um, check the presentation here, okay? Let's read it and figure out what you think a relative clause is, okay? All right, so let's see. Actually, Jessica, continue, okay? All right, Jessica, so tell me what, uh, let's see. Let's read from here. Okay, this part right here. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Read that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a subject, one thing that I really miss is my monk's monk cooking. Okay. Sometime, uh, something that I be nervous about is making new friends. Two people who I email every day 
are my parents. Okay, very good job, very good. Okay, one clap, one applause for Jessica, guys. Good job, Jessica. Now, guys, so as a subject, guys, first of all, guys, uh, we all should know what a subject is, right? So who can tell me a subject, guys? Who can give me a, sub a subject? Subject. Um. Subject, anyone? All right, is Cheyenne a subject? Yes or not? Yes. Yeah. Subject? Okay, <laughs> right. So, what else is a subject, guys? I. I. E, you. E, she, all right. Two people. You get the, you, two people. Okay, all right. You get the idea, right? So, now, we're going to see, guys, when, um, when a noun phrase acts as a subject, okay? So, in this case, what do you see highlighted in here, guys? What, what is this thing that is highlighted? These are clauses. These are clauses. These are clauses, guys. Okay, very good job. Okay, now, what is the subject, guys? What do you think? According to what you see here, guys, what do you think is the subject of this whole sentence? Uh huh. First one. All right. One thing. Arturo Grimaldi le va a comprar Pizza Hut a los que sepan las respuestas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just get out and tell me. One thing. One, one thing. Something. Okay, you said that it's one thing, okay? Take a guess, guys. Take a guess, okay? It's okay. If you make a mistake, it's all right. I just want you to tell me what you think the subject of this sentence is. It's. Oh. Hi. I. The subject is the, the thing that he missed. Can I? Very good job, okay? All right, guys. So in this case, guys, okay? Let me put it like this. Let's translate the first sentence, okay? What is the first clause? What, what is the, ver the first clause that you see on the first sentence, guys? In the first sentence, sorry. One thing I really missed. Very good job. One I, thing. I, I really miss. I really, or that I really, that I really miss, right? Uh, it both ways are okay, all right? So these guys right here, um, let's call this Charlie, all right? So let's call it Charlie. Charlie Cheyenne, all right? So we're going to call this Charlie Cheyenne, right? Okay? So why am I calling it like that, guys? All right? No, I'm not in love. I'm not in love uh, with Cheyenne, guys, all right? Uh, why am I calling it like that, guys? Is because it's because I want you to understand that Charlie Cheyenne. What is Charlie Cheyenne in grammar? Subject. subject. It is a subject. Okay, so in this case, guys, this would also become a subject because the subject, guys, all uh, right, the subject is what we gossip about. Okay, es de lo que chambreamos, right? It's what we talk about. Okay, so. Now, after this, okay, you follow it by the verb be, okay? So this would be, Charlie Chan is my mom's cooking, okay? This doesn't make sense, but it makes sense in, in grammar, okay? All right? Basically, you're saying, Charlie Chan es la cocina, es, es la, la comida de mi mamá, o lo que ella cocina, right? All right? Cocina. Or you could say, uh, Charlie Chan is my brother, right? So notice something, you were using here the verb be, okay? All right, so this is, guys, this is so you can have an idea on why we call this a subject, okay? Now, a clause, guys, a clause, okay? A clause is something that contains a subject and a verb. What is it? What is it, guys? It's a sentence. Okay, this is a clause, okay? Got it? So let me ask you this. On the first, in, in the first uh, example, guys, one thing I'd really miss, where is the, where is the, the where is the subject? And I'm, I'm talking about a real subject now, right? Where is the subject and where is the verb? Where, guys? Do you see a subject here? The subject I, is. Huh? 
What do you think? One thing. One thing. I guess. Okay. All right. We got one thing. One we got thing. I. And where, I, do you, where do you see a verb? Miss. Miss. Okay. Yes. It's not miss. 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 Everybody say eh. Eh. Like eh. Eh. Everybody say eh. 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 I like I don't know, man. It just it's it's the eh sound, like like I know. Call it call it the eh sound, right? Es. Okay, that's how yeah. you pronounce it, guys. It's not es. Eh. Eh. Okay. Eh. All right. So one thing that I really miss is the is my mom's cooking. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So now, according to according to what a clause is, guys, does uh, is this a clause? Yes or not? Yes. Very good job. According to what a clause is, is this a is this a is this a is this a clause? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, guys. It is. Why? Who can give me the the subject and the verb here? The subject. One thing I really miss. No, no, no. On the second. Okay. Remember this right here will become another clause. A clause has mm. has to contain a subject and a verb. So no, my mom's okay. No, my no, mom's no. very good. Okay, and the verb cooking. Cooking, very cooking. good job, guys. Okay, so we have how many clauses do we have? Two. We have two clauses. Okay. Now, how do we join those clauses? What is the one thing that joins them, guys? The the verb. The verb, verb one. To, verb to be beautiful and applause for you guys. You are freaking smart. Good, good, good <laughs> job, guys. Okay. All right, Ronnie. You... <laughs> uh, Ronnie, do you have a question, Ronnie? No. Take but the notes. second one is not a clause. Take notes. Take, take notes. Okay. All right. What, what, why wouldn't it be a clause? We need a subject and verb. Uh-huh. Which is uh, my mom would be a subject, right? My mom's cooking is a subject. No, no, no. I, I understand your point. I understand your point. But this right now, now, don't get confused with something, guys. Good good job, man. Good job. All right? Don't get confused with something, right? Now, in this whole sentence, this is a whole sentence, guys, okay? For reference, guys, this right here is a verb, okay? A verb in ING, a gerund, okay? So as long as it is a verb, mm -hmm. all right, that, beco that, forms, uh, that becomes part of um of a clause okay now the subject will be here now my mom's cooking i know what you're referring because my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence this is what we're talking about right it is the topic of the whole sentence but in this case remember we're always going to talk about two clauses so the, the the what's separating the two clauses right here is this okay so if you see here in the example my mom's cooking, as Arturo mentioned, right? It is the object of a sentence, but, but that would be another clause, right? We're joining them with the verb be here, okay? If it is easier for you to remember it as the object of the sentence, guys, go ahead and do it like that. Just remember the object of the sentence. I'm just putting in your perspective, guys, that we're joining two clauses. Got it, Arturo? All right. Got it. It is the object of the sentence, guys, but for reference, for your reference, all right, we're joining two clauses together and we're joining them. All right. Um, we're, we're, um, we're joining, I'm sorry, we're joining the object guys with the verb be, okay? All right, beautiful. Now, uh, do me a favor guys, before, before we continue, do me a favor, okay? Uh, write down, write down the structure. Yes, Ronnie, tell me. Uh, for example, the, in this example is, is because it's a singular. Uh, uh, the, is the both uh -huh. thing are singular. No, uh, we have we have another uh, example here, right? Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you see this example here, guys, does it say "es" or does it uh, say uh, "are"? Uh, are my parents, right? Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay. All right, guys. So, time for examples. Okay. So, do my favor. I want everybody to ask me a question right now if, if something is not clear. But if it is, then I want you to start making examples right now, okay? Talk about something funny, all right? 
All right, use, use this thing right here. We're just gonna focus on this, okay? Let's use uh, one thing that I've really missed, something that, that I've been nervous about, or let's use two people. Well, I you can change this if you want, but you can say two people, I email every day, all right? So now, let's use, uh, let's use these three right here, guys. Okay, let's use these three uh, phrases and just change the rest of the phrase, okay? So change the, change the object of the sentence, okay? All right, so I can say, for example, uh, one thing that I really miss is if I travel to another country, right? One thing that I really miss is my family because I will not be able to see them anymore. All right. So, what is one thing that I, that you really miss? Uh, that, that yeah, that you really miss, uh, Arturo. If you leave the country forever, what, what, that's one. What's one the one thing that you really miss? One thing I really miss is go to parties. Very good job. Okay. Very good. Applause for Arturo, guys. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Now, that one's for me, guys, because there was a mistake there. All right. No, Arturo, I'm kidding. All right. Um, okay, guys. When you use, if you're going to use a verb after the verb be, okay, if you're going to use verb to be here, all right, you have to add a gerund. You have to add? Gerund. A gerund, right? Beautiful, Boy. guys. Beautiful, right? Uh, so let's see. Let's see, Ricardo. So if you if you leave the country forever, what's one thing that you're you're gonna miss? Mm -hmm. Ricardo, five, four. Ricardo, you're muted, sir. Huh? Okay. Uh, yes. One thing that I really miss is. Uh, uh, the pupusas. Okay. You'd mean you'd miss pupusas. Is is uh, eat, eating pupusas. Very good, very good. Okay, keep sending me examples, guys. Good job, good job. Ronnie, what is something that you would miss if you were to leave the country? Uh, one thing that I really miss is eating typical food. Okay, very good job. Okay, one thing that I really miss is eating typical food. Good job. All right. Um, let's see, if, uh, Victor Avalos, what's one thing that you'd miss? One thing I really miss, it's my, it's my bed. <laughs> Sleeping in my bed. <laughs> All, right. All right, very good, okay. All right, now let's, let's change that, guys. All right, let's not... Let's not use um, as um, a verb anymore, okay? Now, in this case, guys, the gerund becomes um, the object of the sentence, right? But we're not. Uh, we're, let's let's stop. Let's stop using gerunds right now. I want you to use uh, a noun instead, okay? So let's use nouns, guys, okay? Uh, let Let's say, for example, uh, I miss Cheyenne, right? I don't know, guys. So let's let's use an object, okay? All right, so Elena, so what's something that you'd really miss if you, um, if you left the country forever? I really miss, one thing that I really miss is going to the beach. Is going to the beach, okay, very good. Now, uh, it is good, but I want you to tell me, okay, I want you to tell me an example that is not using a gerund, okay? If you want reference, Try to take a look at this example, at the first example that we came across here. This example right here. My mom's cooking. Okay. Uh, you can say, you can say, it's my dad or um, it's um, my best friend's computer. <laughs> All right. You can say, una cosa que realmente extrañaría es la computadora de un amigo o uh, su novia, right? I don't know, guys. Just kidding. Right. So, no. Uh, <laughs> so, anything, guys. Anything, anything that can Got become, anything that can become an, uh, the object of the sentence, okay? All right. Do you have an example, Elena? Mm, one thing that I really miss is my friend's company. 
Very good. Okay, good job. Good job, Elena. Nicely done. Good job. Uh, Jessica, okay, tell me something that you'd really miss if you left the country. Remember, guys, pronunciation? Miss. Okay. Something I really miss is uh, hot chocolate in Hot. my grandmother's house. Good job. Okay, good job. Plus for Jessica. Good job, Jessica. All right. Brenda, give me one example. Hey, now you see my teacher. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I really miss is visiting my friend's house. Okay, very good job. Okay, you used another gerund, but it, it's good. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Ronnie, give me another example, Ronnie. Ronnie? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Oh. Uh, my, do my dog is... It's <laughs> okay, if you like, if you like, like super nice to you. All right, let's go. One thing that I, I really need is my dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> my dog's barking, good job. Barking. Okay, good job. All right, good job. That, that, that's a good example, okay? All right, who'd like to give me the, the last example before, before we move on, guys? Anyone, anyone? Me teacher, Jorge. Jorge, let's go, Jorge. Okay, one thing that I really miss are my child playing. My what? Oh, my child. My, my child or my children? How many children do you have? Uh, two children. All right, is it, is it child or children? Uh, children. Okay, so how would you say it? Uh, one thing. One thing that I really miss are my children playing. Okay, repeat, guys. One thing. One thing. One thing. Okay, thing. One okay. Thing. I'd really miss. Repeat. I'd really miss. I really, really, really miss. miss. Is my children. Is my children. Is my children. My children. All right, my children. Uh, no, no, no. In this case, it wouldn't be my children's guys. Okay. You. Uh, when you say when you add that s at the end, that's a possessive. Okay. All right. Uh, this is not the possessive of, of, of anything, right? It's my children. You can say it's watching my, my children child. playing. Okay. My I child. think that's what you want to say. Uh, so one thing I really miss is watching my children playing. Yes. 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 All right. Good job, guys. Do you have a question, guys? Do you have a question regarding uh, noun phrases as as um, as subjects? No? All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to see tomorrow, guys, okay, how to use them as objects, okay? Which is, it's, it's not really that, that, uh, that different, guys, but, uh, but we have to explain it because the, um, the, the exam, guys, is going to contain all of that and also the, the next exercise, okay? All right, guys. So before we leave, do me a favor. Uh, send me examples right now, guys. All right. Uh, I want, so one example that I want, guys, okay. Um, hold on. So you have to tell me. Okay. So you have to tell me something that you would be nervous about if you, if you visited, if you visited, um, what's the name of this country? Jesus Christ. Oh, if you visited Afghanistan. Okay. <laughs> Got it? So tell me, what thing would you be afraid of, okay, or would you be nervous about, I'm sorry, would you be nervous about if you, uh, if you visited Afghanistan, okay? We're going to type it in here. All right, so what thing would you be nervous about if you visited Afghanistan, right? So I'll wait for your answers. When you learn, guys, um, 
when you when if you ever learn pronunciation as as, as you should and you learn about phonetics um i'll give you an example right now guys on how that sounds to americans okay because i don't know if you've ever worked uh in a call center but sometimes they would ask for an american i don't know if you've ever worked there guys but but they would ask like to speak to someone in america now guys the reason why guys is because in brazil guys okay when i lived in brazil people there couldn't understand the difference between pero y perro for them it sounded the same all right see what this is pero y perro in brazil ellos escuchan exactamente lo mismo no consiguen oír esa diferencia nosotros sí right es igual en español es igual en inglés guys cuando vos decís father instead of saying fa father si vos decís father instead of father ellos consiguen de, de distinguir esa diferencia entre la vocal que estás haciendo got it entonces para referencia eso es guys ok all right beautiful so let's see um arturo something i'd be nervous about if i visiting now there is something wrong there uh, arturo which is after about okay uh it says something i'd be nervous about if i visited okay um that would become a second conditional right you have to use uh simple past after the clause if okay so uh something i'd be nervous about if i visited afghanistan right is or are the bombs okay i don't know what what you're gonna say after that but uh let's change that allison um let's see one thing i'd be nervous about is the law good job very good okay simple and that's a noun very good the law is a noun one thing i'd be nervous about visiting afghanistan is the language and the type of food perfect uh i be nervous when people are near to me are near me right uh, you don't have to add the word to there jessica one Thank thing you're nervous about visiting afghanistan and finding crazy terrorist organizations All right now a crazy terrorist organization hey, it's okay jessica perfect uh Something I would be nervous about visiting Afghanistan. Now, something I would be nervous about uh, visiting Afghanistan is see U.S. Army dot. What? Okay, after I want the to say soldier. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, I got I got a mistake. All right. Send it for... Now there is a mistake there after the verb be. Okay, it's plus gerund. It's seeing uh, oh, okay. U U.S. <laughs> Army soldiers. Okay, Ronnie. Yeah, one thing that I'd be nervous is not being able to talk with someone or to someone all right the whole vocabulary and expression there would be correct uh so let's change that ricardo from something i'd be nervous about if i if i visiting is incorrect if i visited erase the 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 the, 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 the all right and uh you need to use simple past all right ronnie arturo I, if i visited afghanistan are bombs and war all right now that's the start of a second conditional but that would be incorrect arturo all right you have to start okay so do my favorite to start like like you started before one thing that i'd be nervous about is and then you can either use a verb in ing or you can use a noun okay all right or you can add if you want one thing i would be uh one thing i'd be nervous about if i visited afghanistan is okay uh brenda one thing that i'd be nervous about visiting afghanistan is i can't watch the, okay about this in afghanistan is not being able to walk safely brenda okay all right not being able would be the negative form of that journey all right all right guys so you got you got the first one guys uh you're getting confused with gerunds guys or right, you're getting confused with another topic right now and also i'm I'm seeing that you're getting confused with adding um visiting afghanistan okay so if you want just forget about adding that part right now okay but uh just remember 
after that first clause, guys, okay? Use the verb to be plus a noun or a verb in ing, so it becomes the object of the sentence. Got it? Got it, got it? All right. So let's practice, guys. Guys, we have 11 people today. I think we had have, we have actually 12. Uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, guys. We only have three days left. Very important for you to join, guys. Tengo otra clase, pero necesito decir algo rapidito en español, guys. First of all, thank you, guys. Gracias por conectarse. And secondly, guys, uh, necesito que terminemos la plataforma, okay? Now, usualmente no me gusta que la terminen antes que yo la termine con ustedes, porque después no, no, a veces pasa que no, no se conecta. But I trust you guys, okay? Le voy a confiar. All right, no, le voy a confiar, guys. Uh, pero si, si ustedes la quieren terminar, guys, y tienen alguna pregunta, denle, uh, yo con gusto les ayudo. Igual, el jueves estaríamos resolviendo el examen final juntos, okay? El miércoles, eh, Ustedes hacen el examen final en la casa y el juez yo les ayudo con la respuesta. Got it? Got right, it. Thank you. Beautiful, guys. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Nice to see bye. you, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.